What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at some portable battery banks for the Steam Deck. I've been doing some testing for the last week and a half and I found the one battery bank that I would highly recommend. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, we've got four here, but I do have one extra. Now this one is definitely going to be out of the question for a lot of people. And it's definitely not something you would throw in your book bag to carry around with you. But if you're on a trip, this is a great portable battery bank for basically all of your needs. And when it comes to the built-in battery on the Steam Deck, it's a 40 watt hour battery. It's running at 7.7 .7 volts and it's only 5,313 milliamp hour. And all four of the smaller battery banks we're going to be taking a look at in this video are 20,000 milliamp hour batteries. But it doesn't mean we're going to be able to get three to four charges out of each of these because the capacity of these battery banks is calculated at 3.6 volts, and remember, the Steam Deck is running a 7.7 volt battery. Plus, there's other capacity losses to factor in, but real world, out of one of these 20,000 milliamp hour batteries charging up your Steam Deck, you can expect to get one to one and a half charges out of it. Definitely doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're on the go, it really helps out. If you're interested in learning more about calculating battery bank capacity and things like that, I will leave a link in the description to an awesome website that explains it all. But let's jump right into it. We've got five to test here. First up, we have a black web charger, 20,000 milliamp hour. They claim it'll do 30 watts out of USB type C. Unfortunately, these aren't readily available right now. You might be able to find it in the clearance section at Walmart, but I've had this for about a year and a half to two years and it's worked out really well. Keep in mind there are two versions of this. One of them doesn't have USB Type-C and you definitely want USB Type-C. Next up we have the Anchor Metro readily available on Amazon. You can get it from Target or Walmart. They claim it'll do 20 watt fast charging at a USB Type-C and it's rated at 20,000 milliamp hours. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the way this thing looks and these go anywhere from $40 up to 60. 60 is way too much in my opinion. Next on the list we have the Bezos. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's 20,000 milliamp hours. It charges at 65 watts out and in. We've got this nice LED indicator on it. It's constructed of aluminum. It's got two full-size USBs that'll do 30 watts out. USB Type-C will do 65, and it does have micro USB. These are around $45 to 55 on Amazon. And the final smaller battery pack we have here is kind of a RAV power clone. They claim that this was a 30,000 milliamp hour battery, but as soon as I took it out of the box, I knew it wasn't. It's around 20,000, I'd say, two USBs. They claim it'll do 25 watt PD fast charging out of USB type C. And we'll definitely be testing those claims. First battery we're gonna be testing out is the Black Web. Like I mentioned, it's hard to find these, but it's got a nice little uh, readout on it. So we'll go ahead and plug this little USB multimeter in. This is gonna give us a nice little readout. And when the Steam Deck is at idle, it's around 24 watts. It'll definitely charge that battery up, but we're at idle right now. I'm going to go ahead and start this up. I've got God of War already running, and you can see this jumps up to close to 30 watts. 28 to 29, not bad at all. It will charge that battery up and allow us to play a game at the same time. Now, the Steam Deck is rated to charge up to 40 watts while everything's at full boat. And right now with God of War, I do have the APU set at 15 watts and the GPU is at 1600 megahertz. So we're pulling as much as we can while running God of War right now. I'd say a battery pack like this would definitely get you by, but like I mentioned, these are a bit hard to find. So let's move over to something that's readily available. Moving over to the Anchor Metro, 20,000 milliamp hour battery. They claim this will do up to 20 watts, but uh, unfortunately, this is one of the worst battery packs that I've ever tested with the Steam Deck. And really, it comes down to it not detecting that PD charging technology. So it's only charging at five volts here and we can't get anywhere close to 20 watts out of this unit. At first, I thought it was because I had this little USB multimeter plugged in, but uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. If I plug it in without it, it still doesn't do much. Let's go ahead and turn this on, and with the latest Steam Deck firmware, you're gonna get a slow charge notification. Now don't get me wrong, you could still charge up the unit with this, but it's gonna take a while, and you're really not gonna be able to play it while you're charging. It's still gonna deplete that battery at the same time. So the Anchor Metro is out of the question, at least in my opinion. Next up, we've got that little RAV Power clone, which they were claiming was a 30,000 milliamp hour battery. It is not. And they say it'll do 25 watt PD fast charging out of USB Type-C. But with the Steam Deck, I just can't get it to go that high. And I've actually had the battery shut down on me a couple times trying to charge the Steam Deck up. And there it goes. Cut power. 
and it kind of rebooted itself. I'm not even going to leave a link to this battery because I have had some issues with it with that rebooting. But uh, as you can see, it'll only do around 13.5 watts with the Steam DAC. And it's definitely not a 30,000 milliamp hour battery. If anything, it's really close to the 20,000 milliamp hour batteries that we've already taken a look at. But we can't get anywhere close to 25 watts out. So yeah, this is definitely the most expensive and the biggest battery pack on the list here. This is around $180. It's the RAV Power Station 252 watt hour battery. It'll do 65 watts out. You can charge it at up to 65 watts, either using a wall outlet or even solar. It's got two 110 outlets on the top. I've actually used this in a couple videos, and I've powered an Xbox Series S for about an hour and a half with this battery. But yeah, I mean, it'll charge the Steam Deck at 40 watts. This is a great travel battery to have in the car with you. And the final battery pack we're going to be taking a look at in this video is the one that I would recommend. This one actually worked out really well. It's by a company called Bezos. I picked this up on Amazon for around $45. It is a bit expensive. It does 65 watt PD fast charging in and out. So you can recharge this up to 65 watts and it'll charge devices up to 65 watts out. Nice little display. And when the Steam Deck is at idle, it'll do around 24 watts, 23.4. We can also check the voltage and amperage. So if you don't have one of these little multimeters, you can actually just take the voltage, multiply it by the amperage, and you'll get the watts out. So we'll turn it on. God of War, running. We're at 40 watts. So this will charge the Steam Deck at the maximum current. This has been a great little battery pack, and I've used it for way more than this. The USB Type-C will do 65 watts out, but the Steam Deck isn't going to support 65 watts. And the USB-A ports on here will do 30 watts out, so it's actually a great little device for charging all kinds of different devices. And remember, you can recharge this battery pack at 65 watts, so you can get it back up and running really quickly. I did want to run a test on this, but I'm really close to the full capacity. Let's go ahead and see what it'll do anyway. So I've got a little 100 watt charger here. Give it a second to initialize and it's charging at 60 watts. And remember, we're already at 99% capacity, so I'd say when this battery was run down, you could definitely recharge it at up to 65 watts, no problem at all. So yeah, unfortunately, the Anchor Metro 20,000 just didn't work out for the Steam Deck. Neither did that, uh, you know, no-name or rebranded battery from Amazon. Black Web worked great at 30 watts. But my top pick here is definitely this Bezos 65 watt 20,000 milliamp hour battery. I believe they sell higher capacity versions of this or even the higher capacity version at 45 watts, but that would still work out really well for the Steam Deck. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. I recently did an accessories video and left out the batteries on purpose because I had a few of these coming. I will leave links to the one that I suggest in the description, and you know, if you want to find your own battery pack, just make sure it supports PD 3.0, or even better than that, because that's what the Steam Deck does. And keep in mind, when you're searching for these battery packs, you're going to see something called QC, like QC 3.0 or 4.0, that's Qualcomm Quick Charge, it is different from PD, so just make sure you have PD 3.0 or better, and you should be good to go on the Steam Deck. But that's it for this one, links for the good stuff is in the description, and like always, Thanks for watching.